Suns versus Timberwolves. Who's gonna win? The playoffs are just about here, and one of the most coveted matchups is actually the Timberwolves versus the Suns because it's a very interesting one. Obviously, the Phoenix Suns, we know, have a lot of star power in Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, Bradley Beal, and they were put together to win a championship given the fact that they've been trying to win, you know, with Devin Booker these past few years, but they haven't gotten it done. And on paper, before the season started, a lot of people thought they were going to be a top seed in the West, including myself. I didn't necessarily think they were going to win a championship, but I thought, you know, and they were not healthy all year, so that's part of the problem, but <laughs> I did think that they were going to win a ton of regular season games just based on the fact that they had so much, you know, offensive firepower they could just outscore people a lot of the nights. And then oppositely, a lot of people didn't think the Wolves were even gonna make the playoffs. I believe in my predictions, I put them seventh or something like that. Like I really thought they were going to be better this year, which they obviously were. <laughs> I didn't think they'd be number one or number three at this point, you know, they were almost number one, but you know what I mean? I didn't think they would be top in the West, but I definitely felt like people were sleeping on them in terms of thinking, that they wouldn't make it at all. I thought that was a little too much, but they shocked me. They surprised me with how well they played all season, fighting for the number one seed in the West all year. Like that is such an accomplishment. And yes, regular season wins don't mean you won the championship, but obviously for a team that, you know, has been struggling for years, this is an accomplishment led by that man, Ant-Man. So let's talk about the matchup now. I believe the Suns are favored in this matchup, which is a little bit crazy to me. And I understand why the Suns are favored in terms of, first of all, like I said, the star power. Because you have Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, Bradley Beal, three players who can get 30 on any given night. They also have more playoff experience, you know, on that roster compared to the Minnesota Timberwolves. Like, yes, Rudy Gobert has been in the playoffs and stuff like that. But Kevin Durant, we know, won two titles. Devin Booker has been to the finals. Bradley Beal's been to the playoffs a bunch of times. And then other players on the roster had playoff experience as well. And I think part of the reason, although they would never say this, but I think part of the reason that the Suns are favored also is because people don't really trust the Timberwolves just based on, you know, their reputation and based on the fact that, you know, we haven't seen Carl Anthony Towns and Rudy Gobert make it work yet like yes they were you know top in the west but we're saying like in terms of playoff success we haven't seen it yet so people are still waiting to see if those two can coexist and win playoff series because i don't think anybody's questioning ant-man like nobody should question anthony edwards he's hungry he's motivated he plays super hard every single night and that's part of why i think they're actually going to win this series minnesota finished the season with the number one defensive rating I believe 108.4 was the rating, and obviously a lot of that had to do with the fact that they had Gobert, who is likely going to win Defensive Player of the Year again. Not only that, but they have, you know, McDaniels, who's an awesome defender, and we gotta talk about Nas Reed, because I talked about him last year too, and I said the Timberwolves better pay him, because that guy, that man, is such a good player, so underrated, he's played very well this season, he has earned that contract. Nas Reed is an X factor for me every night because when he's on, it's hard to beat the Timberwolves because he'll just go crazy and he'll make like five threes, have 26 points. He plays super hard, hustles and all this stuff. So when Nas Reed is on, like it's hard to beat the Timberwolves. And I understand that having the number one defense doesn't always translate. Like it should translate in terms of like you still should be a good defensive team in the playoffs. But Gobert, that is part of the reason that people don't trust the Timberwolves is because when he was on the Jazz, they had a top defense always. And it wasn't his fault, you know, specifically that they would lose the series. But part of the problem was sometimes he couldn't be on the floor because of the matchups, because he would have to guard on the perimeter and it just wasn't working out. So then they would kind of, you know, lose their advantage of having him in the paint, blocking shots, being a rim protector. So I think that's part of why people don't trust the Timberwolves. I'm not saying that's true or not. I'm just saying I think that's part of why people don't trust them. I think it's different though now than when he was on the Jazz just because of the personnel they have around the Timberwolves. Like the personnel is different than what they had on the Jazz. And I feel like someone would be able to cover for him if he had to go on the perimeter, you know what I mean? Like be able to switch back like McDaniels, 
you know, Anthony Edwards will obviously give maximum effort. I just feel like they have a bunch of players who can, you know, rotate and just make sure that Rudy Gobert can stay on the floor if he has to guard the perimeter. It, and like, we are exaggerating a little bit. It's not like he's like the worst defender in the league to guard on the perimeter, but obviously it's a tough matchup for him as it is for many centers. So with that said, I think the Timberwolves win this series because I think they are going to have rim protection, which obviously is important because the Suns, I don't know what the stats are on, you know, what their three-point shooting is and stuff like that, but we do know that Kevin Durant and Devin Booker love to shoot mid-range shots. So they're not out on the three-point line at all times. So that kind of plays into the Timberwolves, you know, hands because they're not, like, yes, Gobert in that case would be in the middle of the floor <laughs> rather than on three-point line, but still, it just makes sense. You know what I mean? Not only that, but again, in the playoffs, I don't think you can just outscore people. I just don't think you can. And I believe the Suns finished, like, 13th in defense or something like that so it's not like they were bottom of the barrel but I still don't think they are going to have the defensive personnel to make sure that Timberwolves don't you know win the games. I also think Anthony Edwards is like so motivated and sometimes when you have a player as good as Anthony Edwards is first of all no one's gonna be able to stop him on the Suns nobody <laughs> like nobody can stop Anthony Edwards but that's the case for a lot of star players but I also think his mentality, and a lot of us can tell his mentality is like, I want to win no matter what it takes. And when you have that mentality, sometimes you can will your team to wins that you're not supposed to win. I just think the Timberwolves are being a little bit underrated here. Like a lot of people are saying the Suns got the matchup they wanted because I believe the Suns won the season series three to one. To be honest, I don't really look at the season series that heavily, depending on, you know, who it is and stuff like Like, some of them, you can kind of gain some knowledge and you, you know, look at it and you're like, hmm, that makes sense. But there are a bunch of season series matchups that a team may win in the regular season, but in the playoffs it doesn't matter. Because during the regular season, you have a lot going on. Like, you're not just focusing on one team. It's different. So the fact of the matter is, a lot of people are saying the Suns got the matchup they wanted, but I feel like oppositely, you could say the Timberwolves got the matchup they wanted. Like, they got a team that, while they have playoff experience individually, all together, they haven't played a ton of games together. This team is, like, kind of new in a way. Like, I know Kevin Durant was there last year. But we've seen this before. Like, you need to build chemistry together. And the Timberwolves have chemistry and the Suns don't have a ton of chemistry yet just because they haven't played so long together. And that chemistry can also help you win games. Now, again, I'm not saying it's going to be an easy task. I'm not saying the Timberwolves are just going to sweep them and blow them out. That's not what I'm saying. But in my opinion, I think the Timberwolves are going to win this matchup. I think it might be... I'm trying to think. How many games will this be? I don't want to be disrespectful to the Suns and, you know, obviously the talent that they have. But I really, in my heart of hearts, feel like this is a bit of an overwhelming matchup. Even though the odds makers don't think it is, I feel like this might be a five-game win. Like the Minnesota Timberwolves win in five games. Maybe six, you know, because the Suns, you know, they do got a lot of talent. <laughs> but I think I'm going to go Timberwolves in five. And I'm sure that's an unpopular opinion, but it is my opinion. Let me know in the comments down below who you think is going to win this matchup and in how many games.